welcome back. It's Warrior Man 469 here. If you didn't watch part one, go watch that. I'm doing a tutorial on how to do basic tips and tricks for making a YouTube poop in Windows Movie Maker. So, first, like I did here, obviously, open up Windows Movie Maker. Then, to get your clips in, go to Import, select Videos, and select what clip you want. I'll go with the intro to the Wand of Gamelon from Zelda CDI. Then, if you want the music you downloaded, then go to Audio or Music. Let's say I want the Ghostbusters theme. Import that, and it'll pop up right here. If you want a picture for whatever reason, then click on it, and it'll appear right here beside everything else. Now, let's, let, let's clean this up a bit. First, make your video preview size smaller because it's not really necessary to watch the whole thing yet. Then make here the storyboard bigger. Then what's absolutely necessary is to change the storyboard right here to timeline. That'll change to this because when making a YouTube poop, you can't have it in storyboard. Another thing that's absolutely necessary is to go over to this plus button that says expand video track Click it, and you'll have more lines. You have a video line, transitions, the video's audio, extra audio, and titles. So, just take your video clip and drag it into the video line. Now you have that. Now I'm about to explain something that will be your best friend when making a YouTube poop in Windows Movie Maker. First, play the clip. Now, let's say I don't want this, um, this pointless uh, title screen, so go over here to the little button that says split. Split the clip, and now you'll see that it cut the video. Then select what you don't want, and press the delete button, and now it's gone forever. Well, not forever, you can still bring it back, but it's gone from your project. Then, keep playing the clip. Okay. Now, let's say you want the king to repeat, to be repetitive, if you want to be one of those annoying repetition YouTube poopers that just uh, abuse that, but to copy clip just split it so you have a small clip right there as you can see selected right click it copy and then paste it as many times as you want and that's how you repeat clips so that's a simple trick Another one that's slightly more difficult is, uh, let, let's take the picture, just for an example. Take the picture, and let's say you wanted this Billy Mays picture to say what the king is saying. Just go over here to what the king, to when the king is talking. Then when it gets to the point you want, split it again. Then go, click on the audio this time. Click copy. Then right under it in the audio or music section right here, click paste. Then you can drag it over to the Billy Mays picture, shorten the picture so it matches the length of the speech, and then you'll end up with this. Another good thing you can use with the video clips is if you want the king to say what Zelda's saying, then take that again, once again, copy the audio, then go down here, paste it again, but paste it under the previous clip of the king. Then go to the audio for that clip and mute it. That way you'll end up with this. Going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? That's another slightly more advanced but also pretty simple trick. Then, same thing with the... Uh, audio file, except it'll only take up the audio or music, that means you have the Ghostbusters theme going on in the background of this. So yeah, I'll just delete that, get that out of the way. So, there, yeah, those, um, those are some simple tricks. Another thing that a lot of people want to know is, um, is effects. So, like this clip here, just split it, then go to this clip. Yeah, yep, go someplace else. Split it again. 
Then, just for an example, I'm going to copy and be repetitive and paste and paste so that there are four of these clips. Yeah, that seems about right. Then just right-click on the clip, go to Effects, and then you can add whatever effects are available to you in there. Let's say I wanted... Th and you can add multiple ones, too. So let's say I want it to slow down. So I click on that, go Add. Now it'll be slowed down. But let's say I also want to have the 3D ripple in it. Add that, and if you want the brightness to decrease a bit, then you can add that and add it more to decrease a bit, and I'll add three. So eventually the clip will look like this after you add the effects. Then there are tons of other effects you can use as well. So. That, that's good, that's good. You can use um, multiple video, use multiple things, put them all together, and uh, make your YouTube poop. And I, I don't, I can't really explain any other uh, tricks that I use personally, because there aren't very many things you can do with Windows Mo Movie Maker. Now, the sad part about Windows Movie Maker is that a lot of times it'll freeze up or crash on you and you gotta restart it. You don't have to restart the YouTube poop. Make sure to save a lot, though. And another sad part about Movie Maker is that it sucks. Every time you... The first time you make a YouTube poop, it'll look terrible. Everyone's Eve is next to each other. Next to each other. Next to each other. And, and kids get lots of treats. Oh, sweet! Hmm, getting better. And there's this nice guy for the kid Claus who brings presents to all the kids who've been evil. Only good kid. No. Like my my first was bad, but eventually you'll get to master it because it's pretty easy to use, and you'll eventually make it look something well good. What's that? <sighs> Let me see. It really irritates me that South Park would say that red-haired people don't have souls, okay? Teachers have souls! I'm Mr. Green Christmas, I'm Mr. Sun, I'm Mr. Heat Blister. But, for all those people who care, I won't be using Movie Maker uh, for long anymore. I'm going to switch to a slightly newer program called Vegas Pro 10. Yeah, I'm going to be switching to that once I get the hang of it. But, for now, I'm going to stick with Movie Maker for a bit. I don't know how many YouTube poops I'm going to make anymore, but I don't think I'm going to be making that much. So, yeah, I'll be doing simpler videos like this instead of YouTube poops with Movie Maker because, well, I just don't want to. I'll be switching to Vegas, but for those who uh, are going to use Movie Maker, I hope this tutorial helped a bit and there's some basic tricks. Feel free to experiment with your uh, video clips and effects and uh, you might end up with something, well, pretty awesome. So, I hope this helps and, uh, See you later.